A typical dental patient isn't covered with stripes weighing 400 pounds with razor sharp teeth unless it's a tiger living in Eureka Springs this weekend. Tyler Thomason shows us how some veterinarians from across the country are helping a refuge center in need. A roar looking for relief. If you have a bad tooth, you don't feel good. That's the kind of pain piercing wildlife at the Turpentine Creek Refuge Center in Eureka Springs. There's a lot of broken teeth. There's a lot of damage to the mouths. But this weekend, dental veterinarians from around the country supplying their services. We volunteer our time uh, and travel. Members of the Peter Emily International Dental Foundation treating dangerous predators like delicate patients. These are animals that uh, otherwise you wouldn't be able to touch uh, and you're up close and personal and you're in the mouth. They need their teeth. Uh, they're, they're, not, they're not getting fed kitten chow. Uh, that's not their diet and so they still need their teeth to, uh, to survive. And that kind of survival sometimes requires root canal. That's one of the procedures that the veterinarians are performing on the big cats. Some of the teeth that they're working on are up to six inches long, reaching from the mouth to the eyeball. Just to give you some perspective, here's what's used on an average human, and here's what's used on a tiger. There's a lot of custom-made tools. Uh, yeah, you're not going to be able to pick up a veterinary dentistry catalog and, and order the instruments that we're using here. Toothaches taken care of thanks to traveling volunteers. Wild animals, they don't show they're in pain. In the wild, if you show you you're in pain, you die. So it's it's beyond wonderful satisfaction to be able to do this. Disturbing my sleep. Be nice. There's not a least favorite part about it. I love it all. <laughs> and the refuge center grateful for the helping hand given to their exotic animals. They'll feel better and uh, they'll be happier so it'll make our job a lot easier. For KNWA News, I'm Tyler Thomason. Oh, about eight or nine of the big cats and a bear or two will be getting work done. The dental exams continue through